Oh, um, interesting. Tina, so if uh, I'm wondering how big was it when Plavins and Smedens won bronze in bronze. 2012? Because was that like, was that the first time that Latvia had really done something big in beach volleyball? Yes. Okay. So, okay, so quick Olympic history of yeah. uh, Latvian beach volleyball. First uh, ever appearance was uh, Samoilov's Plavins in, uh, in Beijing 2008. And they were the only team to beat Dalhauser and um, Todd Rogers, Rogers, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, and they were the only, and they were young, they were 21 years old, and they were the only ones to beat them, and uh, Dalhoser later on got the gold medal. So that was like a pretty uh, proud moment for our nation. And then in uh, London 2012, uh, Plavinj with Smedinj got the bronze medal, which was huge, because we only ever get about one or two or three medals in during in olympics in general so every single one of those are is celebrated as as the best thing ever and uh, i remember look watching the, the the game for the bronze medal and just like i even get goosebumps right now thinking and remembering that moment and after they got the medal, that's when the boom started. That's when all the indoor halls started being built. That's when I think I started practicing even. So it definitely was a big wave of like popularity. And also they were so liked by the, by the Latvian people in general, they were also like young and like, Mm -hmm. just so, so so, like, yeah, everyone could like, everyone liked them so much. And, um, and uh, yes, and then after the Olympics, after London, Smedinj got together with Samoilos, and they also did super good. They were number one in the world for two years in a row, I think, and just stacked so many medals together. So we got almost used to them winning all these world tours tournaments all the time, and like when they wouldn't. If people would like write in comments like why such a bad start why <laughs> only fifth place and yeah. and uh, and and they really like raised the standards really high for for the men's uh, side and um and then after i would say around 2017 that's when me and anastasia started kind of playing and going on the world tour so it was such a fan like such a moment to be together in the same tournaments with them which who have been playing since 2008 with Dahlhauser have gone bronze medals and we are sitting at the same table with them and I remember looking at how through the tv how they got the third place in London so it's uh, it's crazy to think how to think how how it all has turned around and uh they're they're legends they have they have marked their footsteps in latvian sports history for sure and i'm so lucky to to have their experience and advice at any time when i want Mm because we we're pretty close on the tour we like eat dinner and like hang out a lot together is it- I also think that those guys are some of the more social players on tour. Like I, I feel like I'm good friends with them just being on tour with them. And, you know, they're chatting with everybody. I could, you know, DM them at any time. They're just very charismatic people in general and very friendly, all of them. Yeah. That's nice that you think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate when they're winning all the time, but other than that, they're fun <laughs> to hang out with after. <laughs> yeah they have their humor their like rough humor going on they always like make fun of each other so the 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 goal is to not to get offended so whoever is the first one to get offended <laughs> that's the person who moves it so uh, me and anastasia we usually don't we don't even talk we just listen because it's so much <laughs> so much to listen to they love to talk and they love to have someone who's listening to them so we we have a mutually <laughs> beneficial relationship on the tour yeah love it 